Hello, how are you all? Hope you're all happy and healthy and well out there. Today, we are starting or restarting what something I did more during the pandemic of Spotlight on Local Businesses series. And we're gonna start with something that I'm, a place that I mentioned in a few videos because I love their food and it's Scran. Now, Scran is um, a bistro started here on Comer Street where we are now and they now have a second venue on George the Fourth uh, Bridge as well. I've reached out to them. Um, I wanted to tell you how these work. I've reached out to them and said, this is what I would love to do. I would love to do a video to highlight local businesses um, so that people visiting can support a local place rather than a franchise or something like that. Um, they were very excited to do so. Um, I want to say as well, I reached out to them and I will be paying. There's no point in me doing these videos if all I'm doing is trying to get free stuff. That's not what this is about. I don't like that sort of thing. So um, I've said on multiple communications with them, I want to pay, I want to pay, I want to pay. It's not, free stuff isn't why I do this. I do this because I want to show you local businesses. So yeah, so we're gonna start with Scran and here it is right here. This is Scran right at the top, right beside Boots. See that's Boots, the chemist, and this is Scran right here. And the old Arcadia, I don't know if it's Arcadia or Arcade. It's a tunnel. It's a ten essentially a tunnel that goes round and onto the bridge. Um, but starting here on Coburn Street, it's an odd little bit. But just so you know where we are, there's the Royal Mile. That's the Royal Mile right there. And if I just tuck myself round the corner here, there's the Tron Kirk. So you just come down Coburn Street and there it is. So they've been going for a little while and now there's multiple spaces in there. There are what used to be a, a few different venues, a few different shops. They now have the whole sort of arcade, arcade. I don't know if it's arcade or arcadia. I'll I'll stick to arcade. I'll stick to arcade. This cut through area. Um, and it's now all them. They've got the kitchen there, I think, and then they started in the small. You see where that red arrow? Can you see the red arrow right in the inside there? Yeah, they started at the smallest little space right at the very back, and now they have all of it, which is great. They've really, really expanded. Now they've got this site here on Coburn Street. They've got another site on George the Fourth Bridge, which they haven't had for as long, and they also have a second site in here, which is a bit different. It's called. Um, Scran Newtown, but that has a slightly different uh, menu and different atmosphere. So it's, uh, it's, yeah, gives you a little bit uh, choice. If you get a chance, follow them on Instagram. I will leave a link and I will put a wee thing in the picture here because they show you sort of the stuff they do, which just looks delicious. Um, and we're going to go in and we're going to have some brunch here today, just so you can see what the menu's like and see what the type of food is like. So like I said, if you're looking in town for somewhere local, here on Coburn Street, we're starting with the spotlight on local businesses with Scran. It's an arcade, it's an arcade. So I came onto the um, the North Bridge side of this here. If I go around there, it'll take me around the corner and back into Coburn Street. So yeah, so over here they have the Scran um, new town, which is um, you can see a very different style of place. So again, check their menus, have a look, see what they've got. Very different feel. And let's go inside so you can have a look. I was wrong, they've not taken over the whole space. There's a clothing space here as well. Um, but they started just at the little area here at the very back, which is this right here where they've got the sign for brunch. It started with that little space in there there's the kitchens there, and now they have this, which is slightly different, and they have this space here as well. So I love, I love a local business is doing so well. And here we are back on the Coburn Street side, just to show you the entrance into the arcade there as well.
so here we are. Let's have a look at the menu that you can get here. So say we're in the bistro right on Coburn Street. Some beautiful all day breakfast, squash breakfast, veggie breakfast, New York waffle sandwich. How am I going to decide? Chicken and maple waffles, strawberry and Nutella waffles, scran stack. What's a scran stack? Avocados, fika bacon, black pudding, hash brown, potato scone topped with poached eggs, hollandaise sauce and tomato sourdough. Oh sorry, tomato sourdough. Toasted sourdough. Can't even read now. Avocado and egg. Oh, you can add bacon to everything. And why not? Get some nice bacon rolls and egg rolls, potatoes, potatoes gone, can be a potatoes gone, croissants, and that's only column one. Moving on, you can see there is a selection of burgers, cheese, brie, Highlander, Highlander cheese and haggis, yes! <laughs> cheese and bacon, barbecue, avocado and bacon, stornoway, double bacon and cheese. Oh. See, I'm so glad I'm in here already going to have food because just looking at the menu is making me hungry. What's a scram box? Buffalo chicken. Scrand fries, chicken tenders, oh, look how good they look. Wraps. All wraps are served with chips, always nice to know, or for those of you outside the UK, fries. Um, mac and cheese wraps, and the mac and cheese and crispy chicken parmesan double jam. That is just outstanding. It is absolutely incredible. Uh, hummus falafel, chicken and pesto, barbecue chicken, goat's cheese, breakfast wraps, Ship a lot of chicken. Oh, and you can upgrade your chips to loaded fries as well. Oh, here we go. Cajun chicken and mayo, cheese, cheese and bacon, pizza fries. Oh, what's a pizza fry? Chips, mozzarella, pizza sauce, pepperoni and parmesan. Oh, loaded Mexican. And of course, nachos. Well. And desserts. Chocolate filled churros, chocolate brownies, cheesecake of the week. Vegan fudge cakes, there we go. It's nice to see, um, obviously there's a vegetarian breakfast, there's a veggie stack. We've got their vegan desserts there as well. So it's nice to see a lot of options for anyone out there. And there's a QR code if anyone wants to scan it and you can find out more on their website, but there's the address for the website as well. I mean, that's, that's a jug of water. That is a jug of water. <laughs> so I'm going to be very me and have a full breakfast with a cup of tea because that's what I do. However, I am going to try their milkshakes as well because their milkshakes are just. Let me show you some pictures from their Instagram. So all these pictures I'm going to show you have lifted from their Instagram of the various milkshakes that they can do. And they just look incredible. Now I've done a video before on milkshakes to try and turn, and I included Scran in it. But please just have a look at these. They've got Nutella, Milky Bar, Biscoff and Caramel, Galaxy Caramel, Maltesers, Kinder Bueno, and an Oreo milkshake. I mean, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of a milkshake. So you can see why I love this place. Now, Scran, like I said, was a small business. They only had the little place around the corner and, and the arcade here. And then the pandemic hit. And the same as everywhere, they struggled for a little while. Hang on, breakfast arrived. Look at this. Beans, potato scones, sausages, bacon, haggis, and black tea, fried tomato. That is just beautiful. That's exactly what I need at this time of the morning. Which, by the way, is not early. It's like quarter past eleven. Sorry, as I was saying, the pandemic hit, and the same as everywhere, everywhere kind of struggled. And they changed their menu and obviously concentrated more on takeaway. The, the the wrap that I mentioned, the mac and cheese chicken wrap, went viral because it is just outstanding. So I love the fact that it's a local business that dug in, that dug in during the pandemic and managed to come out on the other end successful. So it shows tenacity, you know, it shows they've really, they've really worked hard. And, you know, looking at this, come on.
Da. Da. It was delicious. Absolutely delicious. With a nice cup of tea as well. I should say as well, it's not a cup of tea, it's a nice big pot of tea. So I'm getting like four cups. Because, you know, I like my tea. But I can't, I can't come to Scran and not try one of the milkshakes. So I'm going to get a Malteser milkshake to show you in person the beauty, the beauty that they do here that you've got to try. I mean, it's a hard life that someone's got to. That is just delicious. Beautiful and sweet, but not too sweet. You know what I mean? His things can be too sweet. That is just. There's more teasers on it. Mm. Now, I know I've told you to come here for a milkshake before. Excuse me. <laughs> I've told you to come here for milkshakes before. But I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. I've got Drop open in my but not like this is just beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh, that's amazing. That's just amazing. And you know what? Perfect after a full breakfast. Because obviously, a full breakfast isn't sweet. And that just finishes it off perfectly. So, anyway, Scram Bistro. Definitely worth a shout. Like I said, a local business. And I encourage you to try as many local businesses as possible. This is just a personal favourite of mine. So they were very kind to let me come out and film and, and show you them, which I appreciate greatly. Um, I'm trying not to disturb anyone. I'm tucked away in a corner, hopefully. Um, so please, if you're in town, swing by. Definitely try this. Try one of the beautiful dishes. Like I said, the mac and cheese chicken wrap is amazing. The breakfast was lovely. This was outstanding. If you come in, tell them Tony sent you. Get this. Also, I'm enjoying the milkshake as well. Just like you know, it is fully licensed here as well. Obviously, they have soft drinks, they have milkshakes. But it is fully licensed here as well, so they've got uh, wines and cocktails and beers as well. So when you come, obviously, the soft drinks. And there's some beautiful cocktails and, and all your usual things as well. So you can really come and enjoy really everything, everything you want. But definitely this. And there you have it. Scran Bistro, definitely 100%, 100% a place to visit. Like I said, I love a local business. Um, the team in there are lovely, so, so lovely. Um, uh, just if you go in, please tell them that I sent you. I cannot recommend it high enough. So there we go, starting our new series of um, Scottish businesses to follow. A spotlight on Scottish businesses. So please head in. Hope you've enjoyed that today. If you have, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Go in and try the milkshakes. But until um, next time, bye humans. Mm -hmm.